Hi, I'm Karina Otomo and I'm from Young and Restless. We're Melbourne via Canberra, via Jakarta, everything band. <laughs> When I was six, I remember I went to the record store and my dad said that I could, actually it was a cassette store, and uh, me and my sister and my brother like picked something out and I think I got a Guns N' Roses cassette. <laughs> but um, I actually cannot remember like the, like the first like album I bought like with my money and it's probably really embarrassing so I'm not going to tell you that. The first show I went to um, was in Australia um, and it was the big day out and I was 16 or 17 and I saw Magic Dirt play so that was, that was a really good first show. The last album I purchased is um, this band from Finland called Pansonic. I don't know if you've heard of them, but I went. The reason I bought that album is um, I'm a big uh, noise and drone and, and metal fan. And um, when Sano came to Melbourne, they did like a show the day before with um, various members like um, collaborating. And we had to wait so long, like for them to start and um, because it was like there were no support bands so there was this CD that was like completely perfect for the like anticipation of like when the hell this band was going to come on so and that was the Pansonic album so I found out what it was and, and got it. It's one of those uh, types of albums that just makes you feel like constantly uncomfortable so it's I wouldn't say it's heavy it's more sort of like electronic kind of um, minimalist stuff <laughs> but it's good I mean <laughs> that sounds funny but you know it's good it's like yeah it just it, it'll it make you drive faster and <laughs> on edge children collide yeah children collide and we chats I'm a big fan of children collide um, we got um, we've, we've become um, mates over the a um, couple of months that we've been in Melbourne and well it's I've been in Melbourne for a year now so yeah it's good it's good to have um, Melbourne mates and we can you know talk about stuff <laughs> shit <laughs> the Melbourne music community <laughs> as, a, as far as a classic album if it counts as classic I think the Sonic Youth Goo album is you know like I that I think that album is Definitely, I always have time to listen to that album. Um, uh, I think song for Karen, um, you know, you know the song. That's 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 really amazing. And, and anyway, um, it's either Sonic Youth Goo or Hot Snakes, Suicide Invoice or Automatic Midnight. Like it's always very difficult. And any of the Bronx albums. I think it's a tie between the first time I saw the Bronx and just completely got brutalized like not on purpose like I was just standing there protecting myself with my arms and um, I came to work the next day and someone's like what the hell did you do on the weekend because it was entirely covered in bruises and I thought that was um, that was a pretty intense show um, it's a cross between that and seeing Trans Am play. Like, I've never seen a band so tight that there should be a rule where no band should play unless they're as tight as Trans Am. Like, and and when, when I first saw Sonic Youth, that's when we decided to um, form Young and Restless again because mm, guitar, my guitarist was, like, moved. And then he moved back to Canberra, went to see Sonic Youth play, and we were just completely fucking blown away. So, um, so that's probably your most influential. Yeah, I, I think like if it wasn't for that Sonic Youth show, I don't think we would have sort of gone, hey, we really need to start playing music again, you know. So I would definitely like having pondered on this, Matt Cothran from the the lead singer of the Bronx, um, and the song would be something completely not punk. So no, nothing rock and roll, nothing punk, like something something that, I don't know, like a sad song like Jolene or, 
I'm sure that if I had this discussion with him, we, we would find the right song. 